So Dave, we talked about how we're snapping lines, keeping it purling straight, make sure to keep a track of all that stuff. We did the heat induction system on this end of the roof. When we start talking about quarter enhancement, perimeter enhancement, what mm -hmm. should somebody be aware of? Well, you have to follow this, the manufacturer's specs. If this were over 100 feet tall or 200 feet wide, whichever, you have to go to the FM formulation of 0.1.4. Correct. Or if you're doing a standard warranty system, you go by what the manufacturer tells you. On this, we're going with a standard GAF warranty. And on this, it would be seven in the corners, 10 and a half in the perimeter, and 18 in the field. The field. Right. How right. far in is our perimeter gonna be? Well, again, because of standard GAF, Five foot. Five foot. Right. So zero three four feet. In five foot, the edge of that roof, we're going to drop in this corner. How many fasteners in this corner? Seven. Seven in this corner. Correct. How far in from both from the other edge? Where your fictitious L is, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It'd be five foot. Five, five by foot. five. And then down the perimeter, we're going to have how many? Uh, ten, ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah. Ten, on center. Right. And in the field of the roof, we have eighteen on center. Right. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. And it's five foot, which goes all the way down the our, whole entire length of yeah. the building. So on this section of the roof, we talked about we're strapping them. Right, so side we went, to side. We went from drip edge to drip edge, up and over the peak down the other side. But we also talked about custom length rolls. Correct. So this building is what, 52 foot? So we, we got our rolls 54. 54. So we gave us a little bit. Mm -hmm. So again, at not so much my age, but maybe your age, a 12 foot by 100 foot is no fun to carry around. <laughs> it wasn't when I was half my age. So those 12 by 54s weren't that bad to, to muscle no, around. No, it made no. it a hell of a lot easier. And no butt ends. No butt ends. How much Please. time does that save a contract? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Plus, you know, your T-joints, uh, cut-edge sealant, all the all the other things that go with it. So think about custom length rolls. You got to give yourself a little bit, right? Yes. Because if, if the guys kick out a roll and they are got too much hanging over, you kick that roll out, it could be 100, 150 foot long, whatever the case may be. Now you're short. You got to drag it. I mean, give yourself a little bit, but not too much. Right. Plus you want to use maybe some scrap or test welds or whatever material you're using that day. The material you're using yeah. that day, yeah. So this side of the roof, we did strap. Right. So that section down there, we're going to go shingle fashion, correct? Correct. It's going to be mechanically attached. Mechanically attached. This is a heat induction system here. Correct. That's going to be a mechanically attached system. Down Into there. the seam. Yeah. And there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that end of the roof. We're just, we're just showing people different options. Two different options. How to install a metal retrofit building. Correct. Ins and outs, different fastening patterns, that type of thing. Yep. I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. Check out our videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.